Hi Krishna, welcome to Vrindakund. We're very fortunate today to be able to come to this wonderful place where Vrinda Devi performs her eternal pastimes. What you see here today is by the grace of uh, one of Srila Prabhupada's god brothers, Madhavadas Baba, who dis rediscovered this lost kund. Dina Bandhu Prabhu and her grace Daivi Shakti uh, helped in you know, reviving this place so we can come here today and take shelter of Vrinda Devi. So we know Vrinda Devi has appeared in this world. She's Krishna's Shakti. She arranges for all of Krishna's pastimes and organizes everything. And this same personality has appeared in this material world as Tulsi Devi. So we can uh, worship her, we can become free from our offenses and chanting the holy name. And we can pray to her to make spiritual advancement. We actually pray to her every morning to be engaged as a follower of the Sakis. And she can do this because that's what she does in the spiritual world. place these eternal pastimes are going on and early in the morning Vrinda Devi is here uh, Purnamasi come along with Nandi Mukhi and they uh, decide what pastimes will take place during the day where Krishna will go where the pastimes will take place uh, what devotees will go there and assist what trees will be there what flowers will be there what bees will be humming what birds will be singing Everything uh, in minute de detail that's taking place uh, during the day in these pastimes is, is decided here in the morning. And Krishna has come and he's listening, he's overhearing these things and he knows what he will be doing during the day. Vrinda Devi has uh, one disciple who is a parrot, a yellow parrot, and his name is Daksha. And Daksha has uh, 300,000 disciples who are also parrots. So they listen carefully to uh, all of the things that are happening and they fly all over Vrindavan and they give the uh, devotees the news, what will, what will be happening that day. So this is Vrinda Devi and we can take uh, shelter of her. It's amazing that we can have access to such a person and it's amazing that by her mercy uh, we can uh, come to Vrindavan 
Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur describes her this way. You are bathed by streams of splendor that rebuke gold, lightning, and the champak flower. Your splendid garments are friend to the Vanduka flower. O oh, Vrinda, I bow to your lotus feet. Your face is splendid with a pearl decorating the tip of your nose and a wonderful gentle smile on your bimba fruit lips. You are decorated with wonderful jeweled ornaments. O oh, Vrinda, I bow to your lotus feet. Vrinde, namaste, charanad Vrinda. Oh, uh -huh.